Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead and beyond. And you can see that uh, we're starting to see some clouds make their way back into the Oracle Techs on this Monday afternoon. And those clouds will uh, gradually begin to increase, uh, at least as far as the chance of them dropping some rain on the reason uh, here during the next uh, few days. Here's a look at the weather pattern as we continue to watch a couple things. Uh, first of all, ridge of high pressure in the Gulf, which has been responsible for warming us up. We also have this disturbance uh, down near the Four Corners. A lot of this energy going to slide into the middle of the country. And then we have more troughs back further to the north and west, which will take this disturbance is place and continue to give us a chance for some rain for most of the week ahead. Here's how the next several days will play out as we check in with Robin's Toyota Futurecast. You can see tonight we will see a mostly cloudy sky. There will be a small chance for a uh, shower, but most of us will stay dry tonight. Tomorrow, a few scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm will be possible. And then going through tomorrow night, looking at a mostly cloudy sky as rainfall chances should be rather low. Wednesday, we'll start to see uh, one of our wettest days. Good shot for showers and thunderstorms across uh, much of the Arklatex. Futurecast may be pointing towards the northern part of the area as having the best chances as of right now. All of us will have the chance, however, as we go through Wednesday and especially Thursday. As we go through Wednesday night, you can see uh, an increase in the rain once again late Wednesday night. We'll see a good shot for showers and thunderstorms around the area Thursday. That activity will decrease just a bit Thursday night. And then Friday, once again, some more scattered showers and thunderstorms around the area. But uh, we'll start to see the rainfall chances go down a bit Friday. And that gradual decrease in the rain will continue into the weekend until some drier air arrives heading into the first part of next week. Here's a look at how this plays out. Here's the first disturbance across the, uh, uh, basically, the four corners. It's going to move uh, into the plains. Another one takes its place heading into Wednesday. You notice the uh, showers and thunderstorms Wednesday as disturbance number one moves through. Disturbance number two will bring us another good round of showers and thunderstorms again Friday. That'll push on through and then an upper level disturbance will settle across the Midwest. This is going to push a cold front through the area probably sometime late Sunday, Sunday night and that should usher in some drier air which will gradually end our rainfall chances as we head into next week. As far as temperatures, your forecast for tonight looks like this. We will see a mostly cloudy sky as the clouds will increase. Temperatures will uh, not be as cool as we've seen recently. Mid to upper 60s north, upper 60s low 70s for nighttime lows across the southern half of the area. That includes 71 in Shreveport, 70 in Natchitoches, 68 degrees tonight for the low in Texarkana. Tomorrow, looking at temperatures that will stay slightly Slightly above normal as we'll see a mostly cloudy sky still enough sunshine to warm us up into the upper 80s as again rain should be rather limited across the area uh, during the day tomorrow with rainfall chances uh, basically 30 40 percent south uh, and not much the way it looks right now as far as rain across the northern sections of the area and your 10-day forecast shows that we will see uh, again our best rainfall chances Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That chance of rain will begin to decline heading into the weekend. And then we dry out heading into the first half of next week. Notice the daytime highs will eventually settle into the low to middle 80s. Overnight lows, upper 60s into the weekend should fall into the lower 60s by the middle part of next week. And if you add up all the rain from each day, it looks like a good solid inch, inch and a half, a good possibility across much of the Oracle Tex here during the course of the next seven days. So all in all, you dig those umbrellas out, you're going to need them as we'll see a slight chance of rain tomorrow that will increase heading into the last half of the work week.